Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. This is more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough where the game does most of the talking, not my forehead. Let's do some more stuff. Hello. Hello. My name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our hmm. goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Want to play and help me drum up interest? Okay. Oh, drops the Mind Flayer. Lower the power of allied and enemy cards on it by one while it's in play. It affects four tiles. So it expands one down and then one up, one diagonal and lowers all of them. Wow. Seems nasty. It's only a one power two drop though. Get some adjusting. See if this works. position. So how does... I feel like you can't do that that early, though. Super unfortunate positioning. I mean, I have to block up here. Oh, has to get real bad. Why did... Oh, that's what they do. I see. That's fine. This is rough. I need to, like, still need to look on my cards because I don't have any way to... Push forward really easily yet. Can't do that. I have to block that. All right, so how does she work? Oh. <laughs> okay. So it randomly puts two fours and sixes on anything. So you. Wow. 
So it's like she ends the game. But those are all spaces that I could build. Or place, rather. Wow. Okay. Holy crap. That was kind of nasty. That was great. See what I'm talking about? That connection you feel when you're playing someone. You, my friend, are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Because the key to world peace is in violence. It's joy. Plain and simple joy. Comrade, I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. Spread the joy of gaming. I'm counting on you. Spread the joy of gaming. Hell yeah. Oh. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. Ooh. It's not my first, like, Queen's Blood boss battle. The Condor Watching Society. Okay, everyone, who's ready to learn some history? Our Republic's capital, Junon, was built on top of giant ships that floated just offshore. But many years later, Shinra started a war. A war that Shinra ended up winning. And then they sank our beautiful floating city. Shinra then built a giant underwater reactor. But the reactor's Mako started killing the creatures of the sea. The Mako hurts creatures on land, too. And if we don't act fast, it'll even start hurting us. That's why we have to work together to stop Shinra. So never forget, children, that the ocean is counting on you. Okay! And what do we always say? No tears until our waters are crystal clear. No tears until, until our waters are crystal clear. No tears until our waters are crystal clear. No tears until our waters are crystal clear. I mean, okay. Just sitting in the dirt and rocks, smoking a hookah? I mean... I can at least be like on some sandbag seats or something? Good gracious. Oh, oh, oh! You with an agency? Here to sign me? No, wait. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof, savage. So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil, and I'm going to be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Want to play against a future celebrity? Okay. We're all the same stuff, even though I think, man, I think I'm still missing like a card to help me push forward. Also, I just realized that if I'm not running Chocobo, those crabs are not as good since the uh, Chocobo buffs based on those. Need some diagonal. Seems to be the hardest kind of stuff to do is diagonal pushes.
go back to trying the cactuar because he has to be basically put in like top top left one or two and then buffs your bottom row and you're gonna push the bottom row to make it worthwhile like here That gives you I mean, this. didn't block the two. Okay. That's still annoying. Guys, at diagonal. Damn. Should have put one more in front of my sweeper. Yeah. Okay. So he he has the flamethrower card. Sometimes a lot of times you play the person you get the card from. They don't actually have that card in their deck. Well, they they do. They don't use it. That's rough. That's a one, and it pushes entirely. Is, is it is it am i always playing left facing so all of the effects i'm seeing on my cards are always left facing like left to right so that technically means the is the flame trooper when it's in on the enemy's board that seems so much more powerful if it's always that versus flipped i guess it's going to be flipped right Three D spatial monitors are coming back. I did not see this. Oops. Don't put mid. Wow, rude. Big rude, my dude. See, so it, it does. It's, it's reversed. Okay. Yeah, though. Play the block game here now.
Oh wait, does she play red in the red? I gotta see this because I still don't know how this works. No, only she only affects me. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, I can't play any cards. She only affects my stuff and she doesn't build in... Okay. Awkwardly, he still has to play cards because I'm winning. What in the f Oh, I see. Gross. Okay. First time seeing that card. What in the heck is that? Tempo in this game is so, so incredibly fast sometimes. I, this is a loss. I got, I got nothing. Ifrit? Oh, you don't. Oh, I guess I gotta gain the bonus from that anyway. And she doesn't do anything back here, which I just give me three points. Man, every single one of their cards basically buffs. So they just it gets out of control really quickly. I need to figure out a card to replace the my regular Shinra dude. I don't really know if I have a better, like, one drop. Tough. I don't know. I've only played 20 matches, so this guy's deck does seem to be a bit of a brick wall, though, right now. Depending on draw. Let's 
six i need that to be damn this doesn't really go strong early but then i i lose mid prio with this well, unless they have an up diagonal they can't take that from me now okay Is so bonkers for a one drop. Man, seems like the the strongest cards is is forward pushing for sure. It seems to be the. I have to block there though, you can just take it. And I'll take it right back, I guess. Yep. Seems like going first is not great. I almost always want to go second. You always want to respond. Yeah, I have some score, but I can't play any more cards. You can play three more. Yeah. And he free keeps getting buffed every time. Yeah, it's over. Damn. Hmm. I don't think I beat this guy yet. Because if he, if he drops, if he, ever, I just lose. Unless I play more cards against them that are destroy oriented, like the Grenadiers and stuff. Not every day you meet a multi hyphenate like me. Only a matter of time before I'm signed. I mean, he kicked my ass every single time. Like there's not not even a contest right now. Hmm. Get that we're brand new to the CAS. I uh should no chance. Let's go fight the uh boss fight guy, I guess. Claire's really lucky. I take it you're new. People of the crow's nest. Nice down below. Oh, tourmaline. I will show you the true spirit of Queen's blood. Probably. Assuming you're harder than the other guy. <laughs> Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's blood champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision. The true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come. He's the same rank as the other guy, I guess. Interesting. Whenever allied or enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by one. A three drop, though. I feel like a lot of Queen's Blood is obviously on what you draw. There's only so many cards, but since tempo in this game is you only get, let's say, six drops.
Okay. Kind of put himself in a weird spot there, it looks like. Knock me out of the mid. Nope. There's some shenanigans that are about to happen or something. Because I just won. What the heck? What the heck? Just Shiva my board? Doesn't matter. Blech. Bad top deck? Or just a weird combo that didn't work? Okay. This is, this is the master of this area and he's harder than the guy with the guitar. Oh, so the guy with the guitar is harder. Holy crap. Just whooped his ass. That could be an interesting deck where you do a lot of things that that you want to cannibalize. A lot of one drops. Ah! This is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. Silly card game. <laughs> oh, God, what have I done? Terrible truth about Queen's blood. You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? Huh. You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Ledrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed, this match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. <laughs> it's Yami Bakura you're about to be sent to the Shadow Realm. What the hell? What the hell? Alright, so there's some crazy story behind... Queen's blood now. He has one combat. Let's do that. Cloud, are you still getting? Remember that you can choose some of these materials. No. I strongly suggest collecting all that you find. Oh, I do. Oh, 
I was expecting that. What is happening? My brain is breaking right now. Just Tifa things. Just, you know, just Tifa things. Oh, she got knocked down. in time, but it might. Oh, I'll try to give it. I'll try to give it to Aerith. Just Tifa things. Glad that's over. Oh, you laugh, but I'm calling it now. There's a demon possession from the void that made the card game, and it ends up with you fighting Lilith. <laughs> I don't think Lilith... Is Lilith even a thing in Final Fantasy VII? Or a version of that type of character? Now, void scent oriented. Something like that. I can imagine that could have some tie-in. <laughs> Probably. Thanks to you, my archives are filling up with combat data. I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. I freaking Neil, man. Oh gosh. Uh -huh. Give it on the go. A fisherman. One day you'll be able to. This guy's nasty difficult though. It's all about that top deck, I guess.
Hmm. Really doesn't help. This gonna block mid. drop is so disgusting good god I should still own this spot though I think yeah Pushes forward. Every card buffs. Yeah, I, I lost four momentum, so I can't do anything. guy is so much more difficult than a grandmaster guy I just fought. I can do. I mean, either lane he drops, if Freed in, just wins. Yeah. The, the buff stacking is crazy, man. Yep. This is harder than the, the other guy. What the hell? Crazy. This game is all about. It feels like it's all about one drops, though. One drops that allow you to expand. Indeed. 
Indeed. I see. I forgot if he had a diagonal. No, he's just buffing the crap out of himself. Okay. Because that's gross. Tighten that forward. Pretty good. But now, that top lane's locked from me. play on your most forward pieces because you want you want the tempo especially on a locked lane yep that's fine Didn't didn't have the top deck Ifrit that time, so I won. Since Ifrit would have had two, four, six, eight. All right. Took some adjustments. We got there though. This this is easily a replacement card. It doesn't push forward though. But man, if you get it on the mid lane. Anywhere on the mid lane, if you get to, to the middle, good God, what a, what a drop for one. God damn, dude. You legit wiped the floor with me. Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won. I might actually not be cut out for this. <gasps> what? Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me. Clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days, I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards. He's crushing that riff right now. Ooh. <laughs> All right, man. Hell yeah. All right, that was like 30 minutes of playing Queen's Blood. It's time for some combat. Oh, that's right. That, but that's... Was there a different way through that I didn't realize? I thought I had to leave the... Wait, what? Underneath the town? Town. Hamlet? Same.
take it you're new to the nest. Is that I have to oh okay. The uh, dialogue there was so good. Sometimes the jumping. <laughs> so it looks like it's gonna be an underneath somewhere. cave path that goes around. Junon is home to the summoned entity Phoenix. Though Freet is often associated with fire, Phoenix's flames are no less potent. In fact, the conflagrations of this undying bird are said to imbue those it touches with renewed life. Perhaps it will offer you its grace. This will be level three Phoenix. I guess level four. So it's level one, then you give it one, two, three additional. on the X, but no, nope, we're good. Thank you, Chadley. <laughs> yeah, do the sanctuary stones, they just crumble. This one looks almost like a white gray. Hmm. Let's try to get to more Fort Condor, shall we? figure out the other path around later. More goofy Fort Condor. Let's go. Come on. Go on. Come on. With me. 
Climb up those rocks, maybe. <laughs> oh. Four Condor portal confirmed. Now then, let us risk life and limb to discover the truth of this phenomenon. Yeah. What happened to the proto relic? Ain't that what we came for? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I seem to have gotten caught up in the excitement. I swear. Come on, let's get this over with before the boy Wonder tries to talk us into worse. Let's go. Mini game to mini game, kind of. <laughs> Proto relic, where would I be? Over here. Your princess and your treasure await you. Make haste, my hero. Mwah. 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 Uh, does he really think we don't realize it's him? If he does, then he's farther gone than I thought. Friends, help us. The captain is in grave danger. And without him, we're doomed. All of us. What do you mean? We're nothing more than pieces in this game. Normally, we'd be stuck here, waiting on the board until someone came along to play with us. But all of that changed when the captain showed up. Ever since that day, we've been able to move around under our own power. I've never felt so alive. And it's all thanks to the captain. Without him, we're as good as dead. <laughs> so how should we handle this? I don't think we can get the proto relic back without the captain. Yeah, we gotta help him. <laughs> More red skewed. Okay. Okay, let's lay out. That cannon shoots far. What the freaking heck?
Dude, that cannon's nasty. Why are they leaving Cloud? What the hell? That's not what I was expecting them to do. so bad give us the proto relic <laughs> that i'm afraid i cannot do this treasure is mine and mine alone never would i allow you knaves to claim it uh captain come my loyal henchmen with this None can hope to stand against us. We shall build ourselves a sprawling empire. <laughs> hey, Captain, we'll wait for us, Captain. Where are you going? What's his name? Warlock. That polygonal piece of shit. Talk about a dick move. You hear what the cavalry said? This whole thing started when the captain showed up. Yeah, when they gained free will. They were pretty happy about that, weren't they? Indeed they were. I still remember the weight of the chains that bound me to Hojo's service. And the joy I felt when someone finally came along and set me free. It's no surprise he's become a symbol of hope. Even so, we can't just abandon those guys. Never mind the proto relic. Right. Speaking of which, I've reacquired its signal. Mm. Send us the coordinates. Is it the lighthouse? What was that achievement for? Oh, it's all the way back up. See? Explored early. Now we have the fast travel there. bell Let's just break physics oh. another insert I played enough Dark Souls to know when tacky would be an understatement Kyrie she have time to blow all these balloons up Sure. 
mentioned before, there's like balloon materia. Combat data has revealed the location of the Mind Flare lurking in the Junon region. It's said this eldritch horror devours the brains of its victims. We cannot turn a blind eye to this threat. Oh, wow. It looks like it's only Cloud, Tifa, and Barrett that get sucked in, yeah. Like my active party has Aerith and she doesn't get sucked in. I think it's just, it's like story based with the three of them.
tanker was messing with my brain. their energy into the promotional aspect they'll be thrilled to hear it let's go <laughs> oh are these gonna be different types of fast travel points or something trip out here to say hi fellow merc not your fellow anything and quit calling yourself a merc you're giving the real ones a bad name uh, what even is a merc nobody really knows and besides arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet mister <sighs> i came all the way out to junon to strike it rich but nobody knows we're here or even that we exist Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. Ugh. Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <laughs> <clears throat> Allergies. What? Same. Shut up. This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww, aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to mama. <laughs> uh, yikes. Okay, scratch that. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry. I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. will be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? 
Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. <laughs> Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. This is too flan though, like what? Come on, get rid of those things already, would ya? I thought you were supposed to be good at your job. You're dead. Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. I saw you take that hit, you know. And they call you the pro. Sorry, but I gotta. There. So long. Get him! And catch! These losers ought to be easy pickings for a merc like you. Whoa! That'll do! That'll do! Then lend me your strength. Dude, what the heck? This aspect for Aerith is cracked. So long. Okay, tick tock, tick tock. The boss is getting bored, and she's not paying you to have fun out there. Dude, what is what is this radiant ward nonsense? Sorry, I think we're almost done. Go My God! Now. Come on, get rid of those things already. I think we're almost done. Whoa! Okay. It's your turn. Okay, let's go. Makes sense. The boss is getting bored and she's Let's do this. There's usually lots of flan moose could be around, that makes sense. Too bad. From them. Take the lead. So it's my turn? Whatever. Can you take over for All me? Set. Wow. 
they are very tanky. Like, aggressively tanky. What the heck? The boss is getting bored, and she's not paying you to have fun out there. Keep it up. What the heck is this? They have no resistances, though, or no weaknesses. What the hell? I put a 215 LB as well. It's just a waste to not you can stagger the other guy. You're up. My turn. Here it comes. Something. Oh well. <laughs> Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Murph. Hey. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <laughs> okay, later. I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. Uh-huh. It looks like I worried for nothing. 
I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh. oh yeah. Rhonda was telling me you do Merc work on the side too. For real? Uh -huh. I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. It's Johnny too. Avalanche by day, traveling marks by night. I don't know how you dudes find the time to do it all. Feel like we should probably rope this place off. Don't want anyone else wandering inside and making trouble. Look at this chocobo drip. Got some aviators on, just like Toby. So dumb. Oh man. need this though and even if i upgrade it i don't think it's any better than what i already have so she sets up all this stuff and then leaves also where did she get all of it yeah johnny too electric boogaloo yeah Well, we have a mind player to defeat. There's also this, which is, I guess is, where's that? Oh, in the other, in up the other side is the other fiend intel. Okay. So I guess I got to climb up the side or... Like here is a cave, and I guess I gotta climb up this side. I couldn't figure out. There's a path that leads out of the town, I guess, too. Up, up past the other side that may go here. I think it's on top of the mountain. Yeah. I guess up to do. Thanks for watching live if you have been. Thanks for watching on YouTube if you have been watching there. We've got a few more things. We only have three more key points so far that we can see in Junon. Yeah. But two more side quests. The one we can see and then one more, I suppose. Yeah. That's still wickedly crazy imposing looking way out there. I'll see you in the next one, though.